The teams take the field. The insane Colts go up against the Cleveland Burns. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. And MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pink flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but uh, the monsoon mudslides have begun. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally cramping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. And it's first and ten. And that's a pass and catch for a no game. Then how is it a pass? Second down and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit. First and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I had to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. Second down and six. It was a risky throw, and the defense made him pay. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. And James Jones really have a way of extending the red zone on account of all that blood. Hit that line the way a Republican congressman hit With the throw. vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. wishes he was right in between being digested. Oh, that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. First in and three. They're putting together a ten. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the NFL. First down and three. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And 
Giants first and ten. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. Second down in a lot. It's about a three yard pickup. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire. Does he like original? Oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, can I get a switch? Oh, man. I can take death and dismemberment, but then... Holy crap, he runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. Breakfast of it. First and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second and three. For a first. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but. Man, Guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? <laughs> First down and nine. Taking you with me. Okay. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, man, he really... And the oh. NFL keeps pounding out the big hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well... Wow. See a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Oh, the player's favorite.
And that's quite a creative and intuitive dance he's doing. Hey, Grim, what do you call a wolf who is intuitive? I don't know, what? And a werewolf. <laughs> oh, man, I just cracked myself up. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. That kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed, it was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was... Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. He refuses to go down. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. And it's first and ten. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. I'm going in circles. Second down and seven. pick man this court oh i can't believe it ain't the whole thing drop drop fizz fizz someone give that guy some balka smelter First and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. <laughs> First down and nine. Scrambler. And this game is up for grabs. And that'll bring up second and one. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. And that'll bring up third and one. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. This one's so easy, they should call it Brett's mom. <laughs> Two jokes are the ones that hurt the most. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good. Shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. A good 
run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. The offense lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out on the field, they will have no running plays. And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. Right now. Oh, nice hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Give him a bottle of hot sauce shoved up your ass. Quite the description of that painful hit, Junior. Huh? No, no, it's a question here on this online dating profile. It doesn't say if on purpose or by accident. Eh, yeah, I'll leave it blank. And it's first and ten. somehow and hold on for the first and that's a hell of a cheap shot <laughs> gotta love it first down in nine I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the end like bricks and bowels. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. It's a zap attack. Oh, and there's a lightning strike. You know, they say lightning can't strike twice, but he sure can. The offense is down to their last two linemen. Once they're gone, it's game over. Yeah, who cares? Linemen suck. They don't even deliver any fantasy points. No little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Nicely done for a first down. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. Team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's gonna have the IQ 
cue of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. I think the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Second down and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Defense goal, work speed. Oh, look at this guy break tackle. He could go all the way. But in. And that was a game-breaking punt return for a touchdown. Man, that play just changed the entire momentum of this game. What a run. <laughs> I like this. They're going for two. I'm a high-scheduled civil. I am a hell of a fellow. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. <laughs> First and ten. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. Second down and more than the QB would like. Another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his pen. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Ravy blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Second down and seven. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face.
And it's first and ten. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi, I'm at it anything. Oh, the defender almost kicked out the ball on that one. Third down and nine. Throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. My friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for it. You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and five. Oh, he just got crushed. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Yeah. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and 
and it's first and ten. Big guy still fast. He can strike lightning twice. Oh, and the lineman bats the ball away with his meaty paw for an incomplete pass. Great play. Second down and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Second down, the defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Taking you with me. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a downers guy than a speed feed grip. He's running from his demons, it's clear. <laughs> the offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. They're going for two points. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. And the NFL winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't always throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the game is on the line. Freaky fast ham and sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwich. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. The Cleveland Burns. As amazing as this may sound, dismantle the opposition and come away with a win by forfeit. It was a decisive win. The home crowd is cheering and throwing up at the same time. Too much excitement and booze will do that to you. And the players are celebrating as they search for missing appendages. They left it all on the field today, or most of it anyway. Boy, you're not kidding. The blood and gut sucking Zamboni is coming out now. Hey, if anyone needs a liver transplant, there's a nice looking one down on the 40 yard line. And let's hear what the MVP has to say. Oh, I can't wait to hear what the most valuable prickhead has to say. Blah, 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 you suck. You take my fantasy game last week, you douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right.